Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today is a fun video because I'm doing a review of a new planner to me and I'm also giving it away to one of you. So I will have a Google form. Um, it will look like this over here. And if you would like to enter for the giveaway, then just fill out that form. It will be linked at the top of the description of this video and I will leave the giveaway open for a week. So you would be contacted via IG handle or email and I will get this to you. So good luck to all of you who would like to win this planner. All right, so what is this planner? This is the Gooseby Twins planner. It's the 2021 um, calendar year planner. So it came in this sturdy box and then let's just go ahead and open it up. I have gotten this out and looked at it just to kind of prep for the video, but I have not really done anything with it. I will be doing a pen test, but I'll use the, um, like a page in the very, very back so that it won't be too intrusive for you. Okay. So when you open this up, it comes with some tissue paper that's also, um, themed. They are very good at their branding. It's, uh, everywhere. So here are some bookmarks, I think. I'm pretty sure these are little bookmarks. And then here is a postcard with the Gooseby Twins on it. I have interacted with them on Instagram. So it's Christina and Kayla. And they have been really sweet. And I'm just really excited to be able to bring you this review. I think they are a great company. They're doing great work in the planner community. Um, here is a big card that just kind of protects it. And it just kind of gives you a little... Um, little preview and then we've got these cards here so this is their business card so there they are again they're so cute and then here is all of their info right there and then here is their IG right here just a little preview of that again just kind of giving you more information about them and then this card here okay so that is all of the extra stuff that came in it. And then here is the planner that I got. I chose a really neutral cover. So let's get it out of the box and let's get the box out of the way. So here is the planner. It is a standard seven by nine, which I really like that size. And I think it's the perfect size for pretty much everybody. This cover is a laminate. It is, um, from my best guess, is a 10 millimeter and I just really like that thickness. It feels very sturdy. This has a gray cover. This is the one that I chose. They had a couple different designs, but I thought this one was very classic and um, generic for my giveaway winner. And so it has a little bit of a sheen to the um, paper here. So it's got kind of not even a glitter, just a little bit of a shine to it. And then you've got the black embossing. You can feel the embossing on the paper under the lamination. The cover is just a little bit wider than say a life planner cover, but it has the same amount of holes, which is interesting because I don't know of any other planner that has the same amount of holes. So if you have life planner covers, you can use them on this planner. They will be just a little bit short, but they will totally work on this planner, which is really cool because these are all interchangeable. So you can get covers on their site and you can also get them or use your stash, you know. So I think that is very interesting that they kind of are using that tactic. The coil is a platinum coil and it looks like it's hand coiled. It's very sturdy. It feels very much like the plum paper coil. So it's got some flexibility. It's not quite as stiff as say a life planner cover, um, but I do think it is very sturdy and strong and it will totally withstand, you know, putting it in your bag and things like that. So I'm very impressed with the quality of the cover and the coil. So let's get into the inside. So we've got our inside cover, which is just a plain gray, like the outside. Then we've got this piece of vellum which has a crown on it that is embossed. I'm not super into like crowns and princess stuff, but the vellum, I always love vellum. I think it's really pretty. Okay, and then we've got the intro page where you can write your name here. The paper is very smooth. It's definitely thinner than um, Life Planner or Plum Paper, but it is very smooth and it's bright white. 
Okay, here's the um, another kind of intro page that says 2021 in nice big numbers. Here is a little note from the Gooseby Twins. Okay, so the first tab here, this paper is cardstock. It's very, very sturdy and thick. And that leads you into the um, kind of year at or four years at a glance kind of for 2021 to 24. So this is nice to kind of look ahead. Then the next tab is special occasions. So we've got some major holidays here. These look like all US holidays. And that's pretty specific to this planner, US holidays only. And um, just kind of the basics. But you have lines here where you can add some more. And then we have a little notes page and we go right into January. So like I said, this is calendar year 2021. This page is also cardstock, just like any of the tabs. They're a really heavy cardstock, which I like. It's very sturdy. We've got a quote here and then January and script. And then we go into the monthly spread. So this page here is just the regular paper, but this one is the cardstock. This is the monthly spread here, and it's a very um, utilitarian, very simple. You've got the little dashed lines to mark off the days of the month. You've got 2020 of December, or December of 2020, and then we've got February of 2021. So you have kind of looking back and looking ahead over here, and then a little goal section. Now this is pretty small for a goal section, but if you do your goals somewhere else, this might be handy to just kind of see some quick notes over here. And then this is what the weekly spread looks like. So it has this standard one and a half inch columns, got a little bit of space between the three boxes, and the very bottom has kind of a note section down here. You can use whatever you want with this. And then over here on the right, we have like a darker gray box. You could use this for a to-do list or anything really could go over here. Um, and then you also have you know, the holidays, which are built in. And we have the um, like little quotes and things like that. I'm not crazy about these, but easily covered up by whiteout. The dates are um, really pretty here. We've got, since this is January, we've got December over here with actually the month on there, just so you know that it's December. And then these are all just plain with the day of the week and the number. The paper is very smooth and nice. I like it. So we've got little quotes on each week. And they kind of alternate where the location is. The weekend also has dashed lines instead of solid. I think I would have preferred to have just solid lines. But I get what they're going there with their um, kind of making the weekend look a little bit different. And then we get to the end of the month here. This is something that is not usually included in a lot of planners, but I think this is nice. So it's January monthly expenses. So at the end of each month, you get this page here and several notes pages. Also, I haven't seen in a lot of planners the number of notes pages. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six full lined notes pages between the months, which is really nice. So here with the monthly expenses, you've got bills, amount, due, and then you have a tiny calendar here for um, really anything. You could use little symbols or you can write um, like abbreviated versions of your bills. Monthly savings chart, so week one through five in total, and then a note section down here. So that's really nice if you like to do your budget on paper. This is built into this planner. So every month is set up just like the January that we just looked at. So I'm just gonna go through and show you the quote pages. And um, since that's kind of the only difference between the months, but we've got February here. Here is March, a Nipsey Hustle. That's cool. I like the quotes that they picked for these. Really nice. Here's May, Katherine Johnson, June, July, August, September. I really like the um, the weight of the paper on the monthly tab pages. It's really nice. Here's October, November, December. Old Brene Brown, 
And then we get to the notes section in the back. So what's interesting in this planner is that if you go through here, I haven't seen this in a lot of planners lately. Um, you have different kinds of notes pages and you have quite a bit of them. So we've got lined pages first. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so you get 16 lined pages and then you get for dot grid. Now this is a very large dot grid, but you could put a point like in your head between that if you kind of like a smaller scale. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so 10 dot grid, and then plain, which you don't see this very often. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the back page, 11. Now in the very, very back, you have a pocket page, which I love when planners include this because you just wanna be able to put things back here if you're on the go or just if it's something you use very often. This is a, um, it's not quite as thick as the cardstock that's on the tabs, but it's pretty thick and it's coated. So it feels very um, like sturdy and it has kind of a wave pattern here. Feels good. And then we have the back cover, which again is the laminated interchangeable cover. So you can pop on or off. So I think we should do a quick pen test. I have, let's see, four pens here that I think we can use. Um, and I will try to find a page that won't be used. Let's go in the very, very back. And maybe I'll just use the inside cover right here. Okay, so pens that I have. First off, I have my trusty Pentel Intergel in 0.7. This is my favorite pen currently. The S Gel from Sharpie in 0.7. I like this pen, but I don't love it. It's just not super reliable for me. It's very inky. Then I've got my Villa Beautiful pen. This one is so pretty and it has a 0.5 point. And then Papermate Ink Joy Gel 0.7. This one again has been kind of um, displaced by the Pentel Intergel for me but it's still a very good pen. So I'm just going to test these out really quickly and then we'll come back and discuss. So I also just threw in there a couple of uh, my mild liners, just so I know people use mild liners a lot, so I just threw those in there. Um, okay, so we've got the pens. They all wrote beautifully on this paper. I really, really love how smooth this paper is. Let's check the back here. Okay, so we have a little bit of shadowing with each of them, except for the light colored um, mild liner. Well, even then you can kind of see it. So there is a little bit of shadowing on this paper because it is thinner than some other papers out there, but it's nothing that would really bother me. I can't even feel any ridging because I don't write super hard, but I don't write super light either. So. It just feels really nice and the shadowing does not really bother me. So I think it's a win. I really like this paper a lot. And then just for my sticker planner people, I wanted to lay down some different types of stickers and we'll just see how the paper reacts to pulling them up and attempting to move them. So I have some leftovers here, just some glossy paper. So there's glossy. We've got some regular matte sticker paper. And then we've got some premium matte here. All right, let's see what happens when I attempt to pull these up. By the way, if this doesn't go very well, then you can always use undo. Okay, so there is, with the glossy, there is some lifting. But not terrible. Okay, then we've got regular sticker paper. Okay, again, a little bit of lifting, but you could use just a couple drops of undo and it would be okay. 
Okay, not terrible. And then the premium mat here at the bottom. Okay, that one seemed to be the best, was the premium mat. Okay, so there is some lifting, but nothing that some undo cannot fix. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and got a lot of information about this planner. And definitely, if you like this planner, you can enter that giveaway. Like I said, the link to the form is at the top of the description. You can check that out and give me your info. It will be a random drawing, and I will contact you within a week if you are the winner. And I just love doing these planner giveaways. It's really fun, and it gives me just some some time to explore different kinds of planners. I tend to get into um, just, I don't want to say a rut because I love all of the planners that I use, but I do kind of get into the habit of using the same thing all the time. So I like being exposed to new and different planners. And then the bonus is to give them away to you guys. So yeah, this was fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.